I'm Chris. And I'm Danica. We're two members from the Nicaragua team this year. And this year, we documented the Nicaragua trip in video log. So each day we got in front of a camera and we talked about what we did that day. So this is what we got. My name is Wes Braun. The date today is March... March... Angela, what's the date today? 14th. March 14th. Uh, the time is 1930, and the location is the Nehemiah Center. Um, so today was the first day where we went to Centro de Fe, and are, are you guys singing my favorite worship song? Can I join? Okay, I'll be there in a bit. Uh, anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, first day that we went to Centro, Centro de Fe, and I just thought it was amazing how the relationships built so easily. I found a friend named Nelson, and we were, we had the exact same interests of music. I pulled up my phone, he pulled up his, and we had the exact same bands. So I'm really excited to get to know the people in Nicaragua even more, and see what God has planned in Nicaragua for us. Thanks. Good morning. Buenos dias. It is Saturday morning. We are here with the students of Centro de Fe. We are doing a project in downtown Managua to clean their park. And it's a good opportunity for us to get to know one another. This park also needs a major cleanup, so it's been a blessing for us to be here. We are currently at the Boy Scout Center in Managua. It is currently very warm. Right now, uh, the Canadians and the Nicaraguans are playing basketball together, and we were playing soccer earlier. It was sweltering, but it was so fun. I'm really enjoying my time here. I, it's been like two days. I am absolutely exhausted. I'm completely out of my comfort zone, and I am loving it so much. It's one of the best experiences of my life, and just being able to, to be in this culture and be with these people is breathtaking, and it's so wonderful to experience it. And I wouldn't give it up for the world. It's amazing, and I, I can't wait to spend the rest of my time here, and it's gonna be really sad to leave. This is Joshua. This is my bud at Nicaragua. Hey, Joshua. Yeah, hola. He has been teaching me Spanish. Pretty much every Spanish word ever. Almar calor delicioso. Mucho calor delicioso. That means smells delicious. And I say that a lot because the food here smells delicious. Joshua has become a good friend. Um, even though he doesn't speak a lot of English, we are still able to communicate, which is cool. And uh, we really bonded. Along with all the other Nicaraguans, it's great. This has been so much fun so far. The way that we are able to just connect with the students has been really great. And I'm so happy I'm here. This has been one of the best few days of my life. We are in the park and it's about 100 degrees out here. We probably decided to play games on the hottest day here. And we're just doing some relay races. Sup, sup, <laughs> and we're just doing relay races with frisbees and volleyballs and just playing games. This morning we taught a few lessons. I was in the grade four classroom and Andrea was in the grade three classroom. Yeah, and we did a little lesson. We talked to them about the cross and Jesus and um, what the significance of the cross is. And then we um, had beads and keychain things for them to each make a keychain of the cross. Our prayer is that they have that cross on their backpacks as a reminder of um, Jesus and what he did for us. It's so great to be here again this year and see our relationship with Centre de Fe growing. And I really see that the whole school is really becoming involved. I love the excitement in the kids here and I know that there's excitement in um, the students at Abbotsford Christian Elementary as well. And yeah, it's just really great to see it growing and I think um, with continued work and support, this um, will continue to be an amazing thing. Thank you for being with us. For us, it's a privilege to be in a brotherhood relationship that's close to my heart. We don't see difference and the language is not a barrier. And every year that you visit us, we feel very glad and happy. And it's a very rich relationship and experience to practice love, love to all of us. I'd like to give a big hug to Jerry and Roy and all the students who came last year. I'm very grateful for meeting you. Thank you for coming.
Thank you, Angela and Scott, and all the rest of the team. We would also like to say thanks for the prayers of the children in Andrea's class. We have been blessed by all your prayers, you who are always thinking of us. We also pray for you. Greetings to Roy, my friend. Allison, Angela, you are very beautiful brothers and sisters. God bless you. Bless you, bless you people all in Canada. We're here in a rural community, out uh, just about 45 minutes outside of Managua. And we've been painting some walls here, just listening to some music and blessing the community. I work for Edudeo. I've been with Edudeo five, for five years now. Um, I do a little bit of everything. I drive, I set up like uh, all the meetings for Edudeo. I love my job, I love what I do, and I love the people. Most of our students are kids with uh, economic problems because they were, they were born in a community where there's no jobs and people live with just a little education and cultural experiences. And we're doing our job to make their intellectual development pretty good. I really love to work for a Christian school because we get to know more about God and His Word and the importance of following what He tells us to do to change our lives. Well, a Christian school, it's a life changing To plant Christian values and love to Christ, the love and the knowledge of Christ will change your lives and make a difference in their destiny and their professional development. Thank you very much for all your donations to our community. We hope you to be proud of us and with the help of God, keep going on. Uh, Today is our last day at Centro de Fe with grade 11 students here. And the school held a big closing ceremony for us to have a help today to say goodbye. And every kid from grade, each grade, they have a special talent show for us. And we also did our school sing song, build our kingdom here for them, and another Spanish song, You Tango Gozo. After lunch, we also did our mural in this wall and everybody just wrote their names and print their footprints on the wall and every piece of their mural is our precious memory. God is big on relationship and His love enables us to love our brothers and sisters in Christ. Even though we only spend six days together and even though we are from different cultural background and we speak different language but the relationship we build is really strong and the love we gave and receive is tender tough and supportive i will miss my friend here i love this place love this country um, there's lots of volcanoes in um Nicaragua and this volcano actually um, erupted last year and that's why the team can come here. So this year we have the opportunity of exploring and as you can see behind me it's all smoky and it's hard to see um, down to the bottom and you just see rock and it's really cool. To not really have that feeling of warmth all the time at home but to come here and to with complete strangers have this home feeling and have this family environment surrounding you all the time um, and that was really incredible to experience. Definitely a sad experience um, just to say the go goodbyes but also we know we have those relationships, we know we can stay connected so yeah it's just this warm happy feeling that we're going to be leaving with. If you were to come to this trip I would definitely recommend it. At first I was afraid of going to the trip but I learned so much like Today we went to the beach and there were kids selling braces and necklaces to feed off their family and that's not normal thing for kids in their age to do. This is our last day and it's really sad. But 